Okay, welcome back. And uh, in this one, I just realized I got rid of the uh, the old projects. I just closed them. Um, let me just open them again to show you what I did. Uh, mission project. Let's just take one of them. Uh, it's because you can actually now we just have one old project we did, a uh, baby project. You can actually just right click and then close and it disappears. But it's still there because what NetBeans is doing, it's automatically storing all the projects that we, that we create in its own uh, project folder. So if we open, uh, let's just open project. So here in NetBeans project and on the Windows, it's in the documents folder. Um, and then it has these and we can just open them from here or we can keep them closed so let's just have them closed so, so for uh, if you if you get if it's full suddenly your projects are in the left side you can just close them down and they're still there can always be open. so let's create a new project and what i want to um exp what i want to teach uh explain this time is uh the use of the random and uh to create a random number and uh, I really like that so uh, the project name and we have to be, be careful because I just did this try to do this video and it fucked up completely because I called the project name random and that was a bit stupid because uh, yeah so we, we we should we should call it something else for um, for obvious reason because uh, when we create a random object uh, Java will act. Java will actually create it from a random class, something already called a random class. So we should be careful with naming uh, new things. So we call it a random project. This, yeah, because before I was just messing up, going crazy. So don't call your projects. Um, you figure it out. That there's just some things that you shouldn't call your projects. Uh, because they might name the um will name the, uh, the the class also the name of the project and if the class is named something that it shouldn't be named like an already defined class like a string class or I think it's also an integer class or something like that then we might be in trouble because some of the commands won't be working so uh, enough said about that it doesn't but now just random project um, okay so let's try and create a new random object and could use random ran equals new random and like this and it doesn't work let's see what it says uh, yeah now what's going on is that uh, Java will is complaining that it cannot find this random class that we're referring to is because we haven't imported it so we haven't told Java that it can actually look for this class in the class in uh, Java .util random. Uh, so what I did was just uh, when I saw this mess, I just pressed it uh, on top of the the red uh, mark uh, ex exclamation mark, and um, I think it is, and it uh, suggests this to so want to create a new class. Uh, that was what I had before. Uh, I tried making this video and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, um, so we want to choose the top one at import for Java util dot random, and I press this one. And here in uh, um, the red one, in this one, it's importing um, the random class. We can use stuff from the random class, which is uh, it's great. And um, we have actually created here a random object. Just do like this. So there's a random object called ran, and from this we can actually be uh, using the the stuff that's contained in the random class, which I'm not really sure what is contained in there, but we can use it. I know one thing, and that's what we're going to use is to create random integer. So uh, that command is uh, next int. Like uh, I think it's this one actually. Uh, because it takes, yeah, it should be this one, because it this one asks for. Um, let's just show it what it does. So let's take for. Uh, let's put in six, and uh, yeah, it's probably saying we should store it somewhere. Assign to yeah. So it's just saying that we should create an integer uh, variable to hold it, 
int uh, ran num equals ran dot next int six. All right, so far so good. And then we can print this our variable ran num and I press F6, runs it automatically, and it always starts with one. I don't know. Let's try again. And it's I should zoom in so you can see there, yeah, zero. And um, yeah, run it again. And now it's four. So it's working. And what it does, um, it, uh, yeah, I can, I can draw it down here. Uh, whoops. What it does, it, will uh, create a random uh, number from 0 to uh, 5, including 5. Um, so this will actually be, if you can't visualize it, uh, how many do we have here? 6 numbers. So this is um, because the first number in the computer uh, is 0 which is, uh, I was taught math, that is not really a number, but in computer science it, it, it works like a number thing, so more or less. Um, so, so, so here we have uh, six numbers and this is one of these that the computer will give. So even though we write six, it uh, is just up to six, so let me say the next one is, put it out here, six, but do like this. It's just up to six. So it's everything. It will give random number of everything before six. So uh, all on the left side. Whoops. Will it give? Is it six? Six. So um. So so far so good. Yeah, I hope you understand this because it's kind of um, should make sense that. It whenever we ask it to print, it just prints one of these, uh, no six numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five. One of these it will print at random. So the uh, chances that it will print one uh, over the other, it should be identical and um, more or less identical. <laughs> That's computer advanced computer science how they create a random number algorithms to create random number because obviously it's. A mathematical algorithm that's supposed to create a random number and um, uh, you have to ask a mathematical math professor if it's uh, actually possible uh, to create an absolute neutral random uh, number generator uh, that but for what we are using um, random numbers for it really doesn't matter because for in my mind my experience so far it is absolutely random so so it's, yeah, it's it's random, just to say that. Okay, so um, now what's important is how we would control it. So let's see with the number 6, that we now put in a 6. Let me just, uh, I think we need now. So this number 6, have here. So here we can control how many from 0 and up to the number that we put in here, but not including the number. So, um, if we write 6, then it will give 6 random numbers from 0 to 5, including 5. And uh, so let's just write 10. And I'm, I'm really, uh, yeah, I, I just let's run it. So F6, and uh, it gives 5. Um, I don't know if I have to zoom in all the time. You just trust me. I don't want to zoom in all the time, it takes time. So now it gives 6. One again, 7. One, zero, three, two, three, one, one, eight, four, seven, three, two, zero. I wanted to find to continue until it gives nine, but uh, it never gives nine. <laughs> what are the chances? What are the odds? No nine so far. Nine here. Yeah. So yeah. So this should be the the highest number it would give. Uh, nine. Um, so that should be clear. I don't want to write it again. What I do want to um, show, so um, yeah, let's just do it again. Yeah, why not? We have time. This video, um, red, so no oh, red color, red text. Yeah. So okay, just do it again because I can type faster. I hope. 
yeah. So these are all the numbers that random will give. Now the uh, interesting question is how do we control it? What what if we want to start from let's just say we want to start from let me take a, a blue one. Yeah, blue one. Okay. Um so we want to start from here. And uh, let's say we want to go here. So if we want two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to be the random numbers that it should output, what do we do? And um, how do we control it? Well, that's actually not that hard. We just have to do a bit of mathematics. So uh, first we count how many numbers to two to eight and including eight should be... Uh, let's just count them. I'm um, bad at math. So three here and four here. F three before the seven. Okay, so uh, that's seven numbers. So we want to generate seven random numbers and we want to start from two. First things first. How do we generate seven random numbers? Uh, let me just like this. Uh, how do we generate seven random numbers? That uh, should be easy. We just type seven because that's what it does. So if we type seven in this one, let's get rid of them, let's say we type 7 and um, then it would create random numbers from 0 to 6. So let's count uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So far so good. And um, But we want to start from number 2. So what do we do? We just shift it. We'll shift it. I'm running out of colors. I think, oh, it's a purple one. So, let me, ha, got this one. Nope, what did it do? What did it do? Like this. We want to shift this uh, starting from here, starting from here. We want to shift two places so it actually starts from two instead of starting from zero. And um, how do you do that? That is actually, fortunately, very easy. We just type 10 and uh, out of the parentheses, obviously, plus two. So now it will do that. It will give random numbers starting from two running up to uh, 11 plus. Yeah. And let's run it. Uh, and I'm just... Oh, uh, there was an 11. Yeah. Okay. I pressed too fast. Uh, oh, so at least here's a 10. So, yeah, but it's working. So it should give uh, from two to... Uh, 11. That's what it should give. That's uh, how much was it? Seven? Eight? No, seven numbers, I think. Uh, I don't remember now. No, 10 numbers. No, wait. Ah, because I didn't change it. Yeah, okay. So this time it was actually giving. Um, uh, yeah, so it should have seven, I think. That's what we're talking about from two, including two, to eight including 8. It's like this. And now I can go back. I should have wrote it in a comment f uh, instead so I could see what I was actually doing. Uh, but I hope you figured it out. If you go back in the video and then I think this was the what we were looking for, that it was actually shifting it by 2, then you plus 2, and then if there's a 7, then it'll be from, uh, it'll be 6 numbers. So, so in this case it'll be from 2 to... Um, Two to eight. That's seven numbers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven numbers. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, this is enough introduction for the random. We'll I move on a bit with the random because I like it. I hope the video isn't too long.